right, hello. This is your Wednesday daily language and daily math correction for week 23, day 3, and week 28, day 3. Remember, if you haven't done this yet, I don't want you to watch this unless you are using me to read uh, the sentences and the instructions to you, but I want you to make sure that you're pressing pause if you haven't done it. Do the work yourself and then press play to check your work. We're really working on showing some integrity while we're doing some online learning right now, okay? So we're gonna start with um, our week 23, day three language, and it says to correct the sentences as usual. So our sentence is, the first machine that was builded to wash dishes was wooden, okay? Our first mistake is builded. Builded is not a word, okay? The past tense of build is built. So we crossed that word out and we wrote the correct word above, okay? The next one is a spelling error. This is not how we spell wooden. So we would do SP and wooden, the ending is EN. Wooden, okay? The first machine that was built to wash dishes was wooden and then we would rewrite our sentence. And it's okay if it didn't all fit online. Neither did mine. Our next sentence is, people used a handle to turn a wheel. Now that sentence makes sense when we hear it out loud, so we know that our mistakes are either punctuation or spelling. So our first one is handle. This word here is misspelled. The L and the E need to be turned around. So handle is H-A-N-D-L-E. Our next one is wheel, circle, S-P, and this word is W-H-E-L-L-E, -E. okay? And then we would rewrite our sentence. If you missed one of these um, corrections, I want you to go back and make the correction. You can always press pause on your screen so that way you can see the sentences really well. Um, but I'm going to move on to the next. Complete the sentence with the best word. So we have three word choices. So I'm going to read the sentence with each word and then we're going to figure out which one is the best. The wheel spit water on the dishes, the wheel sprinkled water on the dishes, or the wheel splashed water on the dishes. Which one makes the most sense? If you said splashed, you are correct. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to our math. Our first one is 5,265 minus 1,638. So should we solve this problem as it is right there? If you said no, you're correct. We need to stack them. So 5,265 minus 1,638. Making sure that my ones are lined up, my tens, my hundreds, and my thousands as I'm writing them out. I'm gonna zoom in just a little so you can see what I'm doing. So five minus eight. If I have five, can I take eight away? If I have five, I can't take eight away, so I need to borrow from my neighbor. My six turns into a five. My five turns into 15. 15 minus eight. Okay, if this isn't a fact that you know, you can always count backwards. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Okay, so that would be 7. Okay, and then 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 6, that's not our answer. Um, or sorry, <laughs> uh, if we have 2, we can't take 6 away from it, so we need to go next door. Our 5 turns into a 4, our 2 turns into 12, 12 minus 6 is 6, 4 minus 1 is 3. So our answer is 3,672. How many of you got that correct? I hope all of you. And if you didn't, I hope you figured out where you made your mistake. Alright, our next one, 8 times what is 64? 8 
and then 64 divided by 8 is 8. Okay? Number 3, write the time that is 5 minutes later. So later is an important word. 420, if we add 5 minutes later, it's 425. 925, it would be 930. 446, so this one is not counting by 5, so we have to add 5 to that. So 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So 351. Okay, 615, five minutes later, is 620. 240, five minutes later, is 245. And then 1201, five minutes later, is 1206. Okay, circle the largest number, 10,560, 10,422, 10,920. So this is saying the largest number. Okay, we notice that we have 10 thousands on each of them, so we're going to look at the hundreds. There's five here, there's four here, and there's nine here. Which number is the biggest, five, four, or nine? If you said nine, you are correct. 10,920 is the correct answer, okay? The ball game started at 10 a.m. Ball game is like baseball. And ended at 1.30 p.m. How long did the baseball game last? So we're going to do a timeline. We know it started at 10. Okay. If you haven't done this yet, you can do your timeline on some scrap paper you may have at home. You can write on like a newspaper, whatever you have. And then at the end of our timeline, we're going to do 1.30. And we're going to count how much time is in between. Now... If we do all of that work and our answer is not up here, what does that tell us about our answer? It means that our answer is wrong if it's not in one of these bubble choices, okay? So we're going to add. I'm going to add by hours first because that's the easiest. I'm going to do plus an hour. Gets me at 11. Plus another hour. Gets me at 12. Plus another hour. Gets me at 1, and then I have a half an hour here from 1 to 1.30, plus 0.5 hour. That means half hour. So now I'm going to add these up. 1 hour plus 1 hour plus 1 hour plus a half an hour would get us 3 and a half hours. Is that answer choice here? It is. Nice work, third graders.